mean, I don't get to go to the game, but I, I listen to them, and I can tell you about them after every game. I just love this man. Hayden Balgavy <laughs> joining me here as we bring you tonight's Tackling Traditions. And this one proves you are never too old to be a fan. We have got a self-proclaimed Cabot Panther super fan whose passion still strong six decades after he graduated. Wow. Dorian Kraft introduces us to Mr. Ralph King. I'm a sports nut. I'm a TV watcher. I don't do nothing else but sit around down here. Ain't got nothing to do. This is how Ralph King spends his days, socializing, playing dominoes, and talking to people at the Desarc Nursing and Rehabilitation Center about his favorite topic, the Cabot Panthers. Cabot, I read everything, about, and if something comes up on the TV about Cabot, but I listen to it. More than anything, he loves Cabot football. I'm proud to say I'm from Cabot. And I like to brag on the football team. Every place I go, I mention it. A proud graduate of Cabot High School in 1955, King played two seasons at quarterback for the Panthers. I wasn't on the main team. I wasn't real good. I was little, didn't weigh but 126 pounds. But we had a good team in 1955. We tied for the championship with the Catholic High. It's been more than 60 years since King took the field, but he's kept up with the team, listening to their games on the radio every Friday night. He will throw it deep with this one. That is caught. That is a touchdown for the Panthers. I just uh, listen to him play by play. I just realized that I, most of the time, I got my eyes shut and trying to realize how it's going on. King remembers playing against Bill Reed when Reed was at Lone Oak High School. He's got some thoughts on his son Scott as the new head coach of the Panthers. I think he's going to be real good. Best he could have got to me. I didn't. I wondered about him, but he, yes, he's as good as they they could have got. He sure is. Reed and his team have already won over Ralph King, coming to see him in early October. I had some of the football team come see me the other day to make sure that King knows. He's still part of the Panther family. They brought me church, picture, a program, and I'll keep them forever. In Desert, Dorian Kraft, THV 11 Sports. You know, I never thought I'd meet a bigger Cabot fan yeah. than you. Well, I got to tell you, it's a special place to grow up. Man, 1950, I'm class of 09, Ooh. and I thought I grew that's a fan. That Super is a fan. fan. Unbelievable. And I got to tell you, you know, Cabot, too, they got a tradition where they would ring the cowbells. And every every Friday night, it was like, cowbell, cowbell. I got a feeling old Mr. King rang a few cowbells. Oh, day. yeah. He probably still ringing those bells. You can just listen to the radio, just ringing it every time they score <laughs> over there in Desert. I, I love, love it. it. Dorian, thank you so much.